Welcome everyone to our Games of the Year 2023. It's our finale podcast of the year. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Most we'll likely. The extravaganza. <laughs> Until you play Alan Wake and we do a, a spoiler cast of that. We'll do an, <laughs> we'll do an Alan Wake 2 spoiler cast. But Nick, uh, it is our gamers Game of the Year podcast, but we're really going to talk about the games of the year we've played. Yes. But Nick, you know, uh, if you've made it this far... People always say we take too long to get into the meat of the show or whatever. We take, we talk too long. Yep. Nick, what is your game of the year? My game of the year. Oh God! Wait, right we... now, tell the people now. <laughs> I need I need a question. Hold on, is it objectively or is it me personally? Well, your it's your it's your game of the right. year. My personal game of the year is obviously Spider Man. As if anyone is going to oh. guess any different. Spider Man Two. I, I, I didn't see that coming. Wow. Really? Okay. Really? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. What is your first? What is That's your good. personal game of the year? Wow! Your, awesome. Yeah, I loved it so much. I loved it so so much. Objectively, oh, I right, think Nick. The, I think the game is like a four out of five, four and a half out of five. But it, personally, it's my game of the year. I just loved it so much. It made me so Nick, happy. That that's amazing because um, my game of the year is I think one like I want to play it again. <gasps> Pikmin 4! Pikmin 4! <laughs> really? Pikmin 4 was your favourite yeah, game of the year? Like, I just, I, I want to play it again. It made me so happy. Right. Like, I'm just, I'm, I've been thinking about it. And like, maybe there'll be like, you know, New Game Plus, Hard Mode. Like, there, there probably won't be anything. But I just feel like, even if there isn't, I, I kind of want to do it again. Right. Like, I don't want to play Tears of the Kingdom again. No. Like, I do, but, no. but that's a long, that's a long game. Yep. <laughs> yes. But there you go. So, everyone, that's our Games of the Year. Show is over. Uh, but, it. you know, if you made it this far, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you like us, you know, tell a friend you've got two nerdy white guys that like talking video games. And we, like, we love talking to each other. And we have a good banter. We hope we like listening to ourselves. So, yep. yeah, give us a like. Um, share the podcast. Or, if, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, you can find us all on all the podcast services. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, war. Nick, oh, you're Nick. I'm Jeff, and together we're Nick and Jeff. Nick and Jeff, but Nick, let's let's talk about our games of the year. And I thought I wanted to go forth with our biggest platform we played the most games on, Xbox. So, uh, <laughs> and Nick, what games have you played on Xbox Series S or PC this year? You know what? I I'm. Pretty sure I I didn't even look because I'm like I don't think I played anything apart from uh, twelve minutes. Which if you go back through Nick oh. and just you go back through Nick and Jeff stuff, I might have played yes, that last have... year. <laughs> it might have been last year I played it. I, I do recall you mentioned that was that the Elijah Wood one. Uh, not Elijah Wood. It had um, had Daisy Ridley, Willem Dafoe, oh, and okay. uh, and right. jo- and Joseph Gordon Levitt. I'm pretty sure okay. it was close. Yeah, no. but it, definitely William Defoe and Daisy Ridley. I, and I think the third one was. Is it uh, short? It's twelve minutes. It, it's <laughs> like the game is over in twelve minutes, or it's kind of like no, a loop. Uh, it took me it took me about an hour, somewhere between hour hour and a half to finish. Okay, hmm. all right. Very very uh, short. And that's your um, only Xbox <clears throat> game. I believe so. Think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, could have been last year. I'm I. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> what about you? I thought. <clears throat> I thought I'd better turn the Xbox on. I had I've got some Game Pass vouchers on. Oh, I really tried. I wanted to play Persona Five Stri- No Strikers, the other one, Tactica. Yeah, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. But I played Just Song. I I just heard of Just. I think that's how you say Just Song. Just. Okay. Um, I just heard of someone mention it on a podcast. I'm like, this sounds really cool. Uh, it's Journey, but climbing. Okay. And you you climb with L and R. And you keep climbing, and you have a rope. So if you fall, you can. <laughs> Sounds you like uh, what's that wood chopping game we had on the Switch, <laughs> Timberman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, it's a totally unique experience. I would recommend it. It's about five hours. I don't really care for any of the story, like you know, mystery. Mm. I, don't, I should YouTube it, but kind of it. Jerry, um, we, I'm just realizing now we've got a lot of games to get through. So. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> what, I know. Else, what else have you played on Xbox? The, the, other, the only other Xbox game I want to quickly talk about, Nick, is Hi-Fi Rush. Oh, yes, um, yes. I, I remember saw that it when good. it like, did the shadow drop early in the year. I'm like, I will yeah. play that when I want to turn my Xbox on. 
Uh, I haven't wanted to turn the Xbox on. <clears throat> Starfield. And I have no idea what else was exclusive for Xbox this year. Right. Didn't. Not interested. Right. Um, but Hi-Fi Rush is pretty cool, but it's really difficult. There's literally clapping patterns for like at the end of boss fights and I can't do them. And mm. it's made me frustrated. And so I've got halfway and I'm, I'm probably not going to come back because my game pass is over. Mm. I managed to play two games. I did see trailers for Hi-Fi Rush. And it, did, it does look cool, but it wasn't really anything that looked like I was going to pay for. But I guess that's what Game Pass is for, right? Now, Nick, before we go into the, the real stuff we have played, <clears throat> yes. have you played any mobile games this year? Uh, I was thinking about that, about, you know, when you said that earlier. I've downloaded the game that won mobile game of the year, the Hanoki Star oh, Rail, yes. whatever it was. Haven't played it yet, but um, I might tomorrow. Okay, we'll see. It, uh, it, looked, it was like a turn-based RPG thing? Yeah, something like that. Um, I've played about four hours, five hours of... I can't remember what it's called. It's booting up on the screen just now when it gets there. Uh, Alto's Adventure. It's oh just, yeah that's great that's a great yeah. game yeah um did you play the first one no i have not but uh it was just a game oh. i saw on display when i went to check out the iphone 15 i was like oh this looks like fun and then i had fun playing it so i kept kept also playing yeah uh, it's great I, I, I played a bunch of kingdom rush uh it's like a tower oh, defense yeah kind of. yep. wow they're still around awesome yeah um like the original i w- would like to play the others but i still keep going back to the first one um mm. and i played a little bit more pokemon unite just a little bit and a little bit of hearthstone as well a little bit of hearthstone as well yeah it's, it's all right what about you um i went got on the vampire survivor bandwagon oh, on my yeah, phone course. instead of, of the consoles like i don't think i've played a mobile game more of course um, yeah we both did yes absolutely i think how busy i am in my life depends on how much i play pokemon go mm. i still play it um oh, yeah. but I think I'm like I'm waxing off, but anyway, it's still going. Pokemon Sleep. Pokemon Sleep, Nick. We we, we both did that. Yeah. I last. I think I asked you in the group chat one time. I'm like, are you still sleeping, Nick? Are you still sleeping with Pokemon? And like, I think you just missed it. Maybe. Or you know, are you still sleep? Are you still sleeping with Snorlax? Are you Snorlax ho? Like three three weeks. I, did, I played I did, for. I did sick. Three weeks. I did every day for nights. three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's no. Too much. Too much work. Too much work. Too much work. It's like you boot it up and it's like there's 45 minutes of gameplay. Just as soon as you wake up, you're like, oh, okay, now I can start my day. No, no, no. It needed to be like <laughs> five minutes of stuff. Just, just enough time to poop. Just, yeah, just, yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. Uh, but yeah, Vampire Survivors. Yeah, shout out to that game. Absolutely play the crap out of that. If you have not played that, get it. That is hell, hell fun. Um, I, I think, uh, I don't know if you know this, or I must have had a conversation with someone. I think the guy that made Vampire Survivor made um, casino slot machines. All oh, right, and you're like, I get it. Flashy get it. lights, a million things happening, like that adrenaline rush. Yeah, I don't know. I, actually, that I don't right, get yeah. any of those things out of casino out of um, <laughs> casinos. So. Uh, I, when I was on anyway, my... the only <laughs> other game, the only other game I played, Nick, was Japan Rural Life Adventure, which is like I'll just say it's Animal Crossing light. Okay, um, and you just you just you come to, you're like in this little rundown japanese town and then you had like collect the weed collect fish collect bugs to sell so you can fix the town up very slowly see i don't know if anyone cares about any of these games we've got to get into the bigger stuff i know all right <laughs> nick the, the meat the ps5 games uh according to our wrap-ups you know thank you playstation love that yes i played five games you've played 15 games 15, 15. Games. go through right. your five what are, Last of Us Part 1, a remake of an old game I've already played multiple times. Hogwarts Legacy. (laughs) Yep. I played 12 hours and I gave up and and I, you know what, I deleted it. I'm like, you win. Or I guess I lost. I don't know. I'm like, I'm not coming back. Yeah. I think I saw in your wrap up that you had played like 25-ish hours. And to me, I'm like, I don't think Nick finished it either. No, I didn't. we'll, we'll, We'll get to that. No. Resident Evil 4, four times, Nick. And I think you played it probably eight times. <laughs> More than that, I can assure you. <laughs> How good. And then, what well, I guess one that I feel a bit sad about, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Mm. Um, I thought it was all great until I just dropped it. And then when I came back to it, I'm just like, not having fun. <laughs> 
then I had separate ways if that counts, RE4 separate ways. Yep. And then of yep. course Spider Man two yep. ending on a very high note on PlayStation Five for me or my five ish, six ish yep. games. So well, looking what, at my what, what have I missed out on, Nick? Well, looking at my trophy list, it has Stray at the very bottom, but that was last year we played that, wasn't it? Oh, that well, that's the games you played in 2023. So maybe uh, it, like Stray's right up there, but uh, so Stray maybe it was just like the ending. It caught like the tailwind of 2022. But uh, uh, yep, I have the Callisto Protocol as a game I played. Oh. It was definitely, definitely a year for for horror games for me. It seems. Uh, so Callisto how, Protocol. How unfortunate of I guess Callisto Protocol and probably this next game you're about to say. And Dead Space. Yeah. Well, like, it's what. What are the chances of those two things like coming out together? Yeah. Well, you're not wrong. Oh, God, and Dead Space was just so good. Anyway, so uh, I'll go through the list of what order it is as far as my trophy list is concerned. Uh, so Stray's there. Last Wars Part One is there, and I got a platinum for that. Hundred percent of the trophies there. Uh, Gotham Knights. No I played. Plat- <laughs> <laughs> Gotham Knights. I played for probably five hours and was just like, no, nah, I'm done with this. Uh, wow, that bad. Mm, I've got a Warhammer Chaos Bane game, which was uh, a game okay. that uh, Naf came over and we had a bunch of drinks and just kept playing, and it was not worth it. Um, Is it uh, like a like uh, um, dungeon crawler? What like uh, diagonal view, top down diagonal view? Yeah, what's that, th- what's that yeah, type of style th- of game called? Like, yeah, like Diablo, like dungeon crawler. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I did replay. The ending of God of War Ragnarok, just for funsies. So Ooh, that's that's right. in there. And then another gem, which I will I will repurchase when it's on sale for like twenty bucks. So you can play it, and I can maybe play it again. Sonic Frontiers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic... Didn't they did they add some like hold on a bunch of DLC? I don't know I if think, it's free yeah, or not. That's what I mean. I think there's a whole heap of DLC. So I I would there, like to. There was a, another Sonic game that came out like a week ago. Yeah, no, it, it got terrible reviews. Doesn't look any fun. It's like they tried to replicate Mario, but still like have Sonic speed and it looks all stupid. But uh, so Sonic Frontiers, I got the platinum for again. I think it is the best Sonic game. Probably ever, I think. Like, it's probably my favorite Sonic game to date. And that's that's saying a lot coming from... Better than Sonic from, Adventure 2. Better than Sonic Adventure 2. It's just... It's fast. I'll it's take, fun. I believe you. It's really, really good. Like, it's it's got some, you know, some buggy sort of things, but it's still well, very Sonic. Sonic. And it, but it's also still just... It's so fun and it's so fast. It, imagine, like, running around in Tears of the Kingdom, but at, like... 50 times the speed. Sonic speed. <laughs> Sonic speed. Like, and that, and it's just built with... Like, it's just a big playground. It's heaps of fun. I loved it. Uh, so moving on to the next ones. Uh, Dead Space is there. Got the platinum for that. That speaks for itself. Dead Space is... Dead Space is... And I, I, just, I want to make a note. Like, I love Dead Space too. Well, sorry. I love Dead Space. Yep. And I'm watching you stream it, I'm like, this is great. I've watched Nick. I don't need to play it. I've experienced it. I know what it is. I've seen. I've watched him for like three hours play it's, the ending. Yeah. I'm good. It still bugs. I mean, it's the same thing it's that a we weird did feeling. with. Um, yeah. Maybe this is why people people do Twitch. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. Well, I guess it's. Uh, what's the other game um, that ugh, I want you to play that you never played? The, the big shooty gun one uh, with like the the roguelite on PS5 with all the flashy lights. She dies, comes back to life. Ah, uh, Reso. Oh, not Reso Gun. Yeah, sorry. I'm, yeah, the big PlayStation exclusive one. Yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and I got the platinum for that as well. I really wanted you to play that, but you're like, nah, I watched Nick do it, so I'm good. <sighs> anyway, uh, next next game is Ship of Fools, which was another... Uh, it's like a tower defense kind of game. Uh, I okay. got t- 25% of the trophies of that, but it was a game. Naf came over again. We had a bunch of drinks, kept playing again through the night. I actually really enjoyed Ship of Fools. That was that was fun. Um, yeah, it had a, almost like a... Um, I guess like a tim burton ori kind of feel to it like ori in the blind forest but if tim burton got his hands on it and it's like tower defense kind of thing uh moving on hogwarts legacy i agree same deal i got 12 percent of the trophies i think i played 20 hours of it but there was just so much rubbish to do and i was just uh, yeah anyway it's that's yeah Ugh. and then i went back to the callisto protocol to do new game plus get all those trophies uh sack boy a big adventure it's another oh, game yeah played. we played a couple levels of that yeah yeah um F- then- fun family time yeah uh star wars jedi survivor i didn't love this one as much as the first one because the first one i got the platinum for this year and then the second one i got 40 percent of the trophies so i'm just wasn't super keen like i did like the story well, the main story but all the can extra we, can we, can stuff... we talk about it a bit more like yeah, of course like, absolutely it's a, it's a it is a great game absolutely right? yes yes um and then i i felt like maybe the downfall was maybe like the giant open world sections mm. and like there's t- two major planets and they're both desert 
Sandy. And like, but all the bits in between, like all the little trials all and like looping back around to where mm. you like, you know, work to get to the Dark Souls bonfire thing. Yeah. All the shortcuts, that was really fun. Mm. And like the best set piece when you first get the <sighs> Night Witch green power. Yeah. That you can like, like that. I'm like dash teleport or whatever. You can do the teleport. I'm like, yeah. wow. Like that, yeah. that, that that set piece moment was in like uncharted level. You know, even better. Explosion yeah. ending running yep. incredible. Yep, I agree. Then, no, yeah. I, yeah. Something about it just just hit and miss for me because obviously I love Star Wars, but something about exploring that universe just felt very like. Uh, there's just so many people to I talk to. I don't even know what they were doing. They were trying to find some gold treasure or something. Yeah, the story. And then was... They went to the planet and then. I don't know. The guy tried to backstab him. Yeah, I don't think the story was engaging, was as engaging as the first one. But the the gameplay was definitely better. Like I like having the four mm. different styles for four, five different styles. For yeah, those uh, five. Yeah, I, I enjoyed like the big heavy lightsaber and then like dual wielding. Like that was that was cool. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't a bad game. I I did I did enjoy it, just not as much as the first one. Um, anyway, and and sh- and shout out to my YouTube video of like one of those little side missions to like. I don't know, jump through all the teleports, the little challenge levels, because mm. that is our most u- viewed YouTube <laughs> yeah, video yeah. of the year. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. <laughs> uh, then next on my trophy list, even though we played it much earlier in the year, uh, is Resident Evil 4. And yeah, I think I played that game, honestly, 15 times this year. The the eight is side watched... story. Sorry, the eight yeah. is side story. I played through five times. Five times? Just because wow. I've done I've done all the challenges. Every what, single what's challenge. What's the speed run for that? <clears throat> Two hours? Uh, like one hour? No, it took me an hour and five minutes or something like that. I think it was my fastest time. All, all my times, like apart from my first playthrough, was like four and a half, five hours, and then every other subsequent playthrough was under an hour and a half. I know, I know, we've done a whole spoiler cast on this, right? Yes, but like the way the and Resident Evil Village did the same thing. Mm. The way the game sets up trophies and it sets up new challenges <clears> and new like total gameplay elements for you to redo that whole experience again like okay now do it again like really fast but now do it again with like only a pistol or, or whatever yeah. like with no healing and like like now do it on the hardest difficulty like just the way that just challenges you and you want to do it yeah well i i really want to yeah, i loved it loved it like it just just so much fun and like i was really addicted to it fantastic like i i still haven't been able to decide we can get to it later but like I, I think for me personally, yes, Spider Man Two is my game of the year. But but objectively, looking from like from the outside in and like judging games based off of you know everything else, I think Resident Evil Four might be my game of the year. Like as far as just what I think is it just if <sighs> anyone's on the fence or if they're like scared of horror games, like do it. This is the best action experience mm. you can you can ever get. Mm, and like, like the, it was already amazing back then and it's re amazing now mm. cap you know hats off to capcom or whatever for like nailing the formula and like mm. can't wait to see whatever they want to make next either it's mm. a new resident evil or a remake of something else yeah i'll eat it up yeah oh i agree um yeah it's just so good anyway moving on uh next we got marvel spider-man 2 fantastic game took me 24 hours to get the platinum and it was a fun that was a fun week like just made me so happy like the that opening scene nothing but chills for like an hour just my i don't know what my body was freaking out just had so much fun playing it um then i've got alan wake remastered i played that again and i did you finish it yeah i finished it yep um Um, when they say remaster is it just hd graphics Pretty much, yeah. Just stretched out to like 1080p and like smoother and. I'm sure. I mean, it was an Xbox 360 game. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, I think so. Yeah, they look fine. It was, it was fine. It's definitely dated as far as like gameplay goes, and just some of the mechanics, like some of the dialogue is. I think I remember back in the day, I was like, oh, this is so well written, and they tell the story so well, and like, oh, it's all voice acted so. Well. Voice acting's still pretty good, but some of the lines I have to say are like, oof, and this is a bit rough. Um, then we've got. After anyway, so after Spider Man, Alan Wake remastered, and then Alan Wake Two. I jumped straight from Alan Wake to Alan Wake Two, and believe it or not, I just got the platinum for that today. Um, oh, what what a time to be alive! What a time to be alive! 
like to join with Sal on this podcast. And I and I and I've started Final Fantasy 16 today, so we'll see how much of that I can play before the year's wow. out. Wow, yeah, we missed it. Well, we both missed it so far. Mm. Nick, out of the list of um, you know, there's not a game I played you haven't on PS5. Mm. Out of the list of games you played, which one do you want me to play the most that I've missed out on? <sighs> oh has to be Alan Wake 2. As much as I, I as much as I want you to play Sonic, I feel like you you might get to might get to that eventually one day out of boredom, but out of everything I think I will. I I I've got no problems. I mean, I'll do it at some stage. Yeah. Dead Space you can miss cuz you've already played that back in the day. Callisto Protocol, it's kind of like the wish version of Dead Space. Love uh, Callisto Protocol was great. <laughs> Callisto Protocol was fun. I I want to stress that. Like if I'd have played it after Dead Space, maybe not so much, but before Dead Space, it was a great sort of like warm up to. It was just fun, different kind of combat, more melee based, but I still had fun with Callisto. Um, but yeah, by far, the thing I want you to play the most is Alan Wake Two. Well, Nick, with my life, with you know, no real internet and hotspotting my phone, no end in sight of mm. when that's actually going to come back. You yeah. know. I can do this video conversation with my phone data, but I can't download probably, I'm going to guess like an 80, you know, 120 gigabyte Alan Wake 2 yeah. or any other games on PS5, but yeah. I've already downloaded it from your, you know, your account. So it's probably sitting there on my PS5 and Christmas is coming. Yeah. I'll actually maybe to stop working, <laughs> not do 50 hours of work a week. I might actually play yeah. it. I can't wait till you come back to so, play it because I, I really, I, I highly rate it. I think it is fantastic. But yeah, just like massive year for me for horror games. Like Callisto Protocol, Dead Space, Resident Evil, uh, like Alan Wake, Alan Wake 2. Just like most of my games are horror games, which is like, (laughs) oof. Yeah, well, I missed one. Uh, Final Fantasy Crisis Core. I played the... Oh yeah, I watched you play that and I really enjoyed the little slot machine thing. Yeah. Yeah, Crisis Core. I don't know how I missed that going through my list. Like, double check. What a, what a little delight. Yeah. I, I It was nice because I wanted to play that back in the day when it came out on, was it the PSP? PS Vita? PSP? Nah, I think it was PSP. Because I, could, I, I couldn't ever find a copy anywhere. And they didn't do that. Uh, it wasn't like on the PlayStation Store or anything. And so this was like the first time I was able to play it. Oh. Not great. Okay. Not not like I was expecting Final Fantasy VII. It's not Final Fantasy VII. But uh, it's still fun. Cool little story. Get to know a little bit more about Zack. I enjoyed that game as well. Um, is there any PS5 games that, you know, have come out that you're like, I didn't, I didn't get to play it. So this Final Fantasy XVI, which I think, you know, um, I'm going to say that counts. Yep. Yeah, that counts. Because really yeah. I'll, 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 yeah, like, no, is, is there anything else you think you've missed that you, you want to play? Uh... Look, I think this goes for both of us as well. It won Game of the Year. Baldur's Gate oh, 3. Baldur's Gate 3. Like, I think... Yeah. I'd, I'd like to play it just to see what all the fuss is about. You know what I mean? Like, remember back when Mass Effect 2 came out and we were both... It was just like, oh, this is the best game ever. Yeah, we, we, got, like, we got into Mass Effect 2 a lot. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not I sure... If I it, did. I, yeah, we both did. I'm not sure if it's uh, one Game of the Year back... I think it won Game of the Year, didn't it? Back in the day? Yeah, well, IGNs, I think yeah um oh yeah you're right that's how it popped up on our radar and we played it we've we've totally missed out on that experience Mm. um even my friend he said he hasn't finished it and he says yep it's his game of the year i'm like okay yeah so good you don't want to finish great (laughs) yeah i well i've got another friend who like she's i think she said she's played like 200 hours of it now she's on her second or third playthrough or something and she just like she loves it she's just like Best. and she's one she's got like last of us tattoos and all sorts of, like she can't get enough but also she still she still plays counter-strike so that's like a hmm we'll see <laughs> <laughs> no, right, everyone, no that's not a discount you, you happy, people, yeah, people love that game you happy to move on to switch <laughs> nintendo switch i'm happy to move on to nintendo switch uh, all right i i wonder how our games might differ differ here i think there's all the heavy hitters but I guess my Nintendo Switch year, right? I've been keeping everything listed and ordered. Bayonetta 3. I must have not oh. played that when it came out in December or whatever. I actually finished it this year. Right. Um, Great. Forgettable, but also awesome. Like, it, it, I don't know how to... I don't know. I don't know if it's something I could recommend someone. Right. Um, Go play unless they're a fan. But, like, it had a really satisfying ending. Boss fights are really cool. Um combos weapons you're not bored i don't know it's just something's like 
Maybe it needs to like switch to or PS5 sort of style of graphics actually, to like really hit home. Actually, you know what? That's another game that I I'm like I don't need to play that now because I watched you play probably two hours of it and I'm like yeah I'm good I don't need any of that <laughs> that's that's my one throwback actually I'm like yeah I don't need that I'm good <clears throat> um, then I played a little game called Lunastus it's just like a Mario Odyssey maybe kind of jumping style oh, yeah. it's just yeah. a little indie game yeah, I remember I watched um, you play a little I think it's maybe too. only a couple hours long I'm just like mm. I just needed something. I, I actually played Mario Odyssey on the train yesterday Ooh. and I'm just like wow jumping makes me happy <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a platformer but anyway uh, Metroid Prime Remastered came out Shadow Dropped finished that twice damn yeah, that was both, fun yeah 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 and then I, I kept on a Metroid High Metroid mm. Fusion I played Metroid Dread again so <sighs> just, Wait, I, just I just kept playing Metroid <laughs> I just remembered. That's right. I only played Metroid Prime once, and that was because you oh, saved. I stole me. it. You, no, cause, no, <laughs> no, because you saved me. You, no, no, because you stole it back. In the, you stole it back in the day. Uh, but no, remember you missed a you missed a thing scanning, and you're like, oh, oh make sure you scan yes. this. And if if you didn't tell me, I would have played because I I you know I hundred percent of the game on my first playthrough, unlike other people. <laughs> you had to play it again. I felt. Uh, I mean, I felt oh, bad, but you yeah, still had, that- you still had fun, right? Yeah, I still have fun. It was actually... It's interesting how fast you can speed run through a lot of things. You don't have to fight mm. enemies a lot of the time. Mm. Um, I actually finished another game that came out last year, Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Um, must have just been too burnt out or too busy with something last year. I can't remember. But mm. another great game. It's, it's, it's really good. It's mm. totally worth your time. And all the tactic stuff is just um, awesome. Mm. You know what? I, I've dropped a game off my list. I realized Ugh, Fire it... Emblem Engage. Oh, it's not even on my list. Did you buy that? You bought it. Yeah, bought it. I wasn't going because I'm like, no, I'm burnt out. I'm full of Fire Emblem. Still, still full from three houses. Yeah. And I played it for like ten hours, and then there's just too much choice on like pairing enemy. Uh, you know, the right emblem ring with the right person and. The, and I just like I'm not having fun. Yeah, I remember that being I, the same just, thing. Yeah, yeah. when uh, Three Houses came out, when you had just like all these characters and all their branching, sort of like, oh, how do you do? You want to level them up as a cavalier? Do you want to level them up as like a heavy knight? Mm. Do you want to level them up as like a ranger or a mage? And all these, and I was like, oh, just give me, just tell me the character is a mage and let me just let him just level up from there. Like, don't give me all these. Oh god, and they got to have all the conversation options. And I was like, oh god, it was just there was so much. Still and loved then, it. I think but, when. <sighs> When you combine the like the permanent death of Fire Emblem, right? I'm like, well, mm. okay, p- permanent permanent death is not on, so I'm just gonna auto battle because I'm like, I can't be bothered making a choice for every single <clears> one of my moves. Mm. And then I realized, like, well, I didn't, I'm not caring for the story. I'm putting auto battle on. Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah. I'm just letting the game play itself, and I'm ignoring all the story. So I'm like, <laughs> I try, I tried. Good thing you became self aware there. I'm glad, I'm glad you became self aware and were just like, like, no, it's not for me. And that. <clears throat> That's the thing I think sucks for us with games is like when you spend money on the thing and then you start playing it and you realize you're not having fun. Like that's a tough pill to swallow to just be like, man, I just wasted mm. like, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70, like uh, Hogwarts Legacy. We both wasted 50 bucks together. Yeah, especially when, when we're all like digital, you're like, oh, I can't even sell it. <laughs> yeah. So like that was a big loss for both of us and a huge waste of time in it. Like it says, I, yeah, you're right. It says I played 24 hours of Hogwarts Legacy I'm like man I did not care for that game at all that was so close so close um continue on my journey Nick I think we must have I don't know how my hacked, hacking our 3DS's I put Pokemon Home here as I have finished Pokemon Home and that is well it was true like you know 48 yeah. hours ago I had collected all the Pokemon up to whatever the Indigo Disc yeah um DLC and th- you just like egged me on somehow so I went mm. back and you know did all the stupid sword and shield stuff yeah. DLC that I didn't like and just, yeah. just kind of like why is just collecting a, a, a little digital collectible so fun <sighs> like you know gotta have them in my library to never use like mm. but I'm saying I finished it well that's and like I'm I'm so glad too because I feel like you know when Pokemon came out on I, I guess the DS Lite 
uh, and the 3DS, like I was all over, I was all over Pokemon Y. And then like with Black and White, I didn't play that. Black and White 2, didn't play that. I didn't play the remake of Ruby Sapphire. And so I'm like, <clears throat> sorry, for a couple of years there, <clears throat> sorry again, uh, for a couple of years there, I jumped out of Pokemon and I was like, maybe I'm not a Pokemon kid anymore. Like this, these games just aren't for me. Like I'm done with Pokemon Go and then Pokemon Sword and Shield come out and I got super addicted to that. And like Pokemon Scarlet, eventually when I got to that, <laughs> I, I did play the crap out of that as well. And just something's clicked back again. And like Pokemon just has me again where I, like all the DLC I've bought and played, except for obviously the latest, latest one, which comes out what, tomorrow, today. Is it no, out? I think it came out like a day and a half ago or something. Mm. I haven't but, tried um, it yet. But there's only like yeah. nine new Pokemon, like mm. new Pokemon, I should say. Yeah. And because we already have them all, yeah. I'm like, I'll, 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 I'm going to play it. Yeah, but I'll just play it when I when I want to when I'm ready. Yeah, and I feel nine, like nine's not hard, too hard to get. Mm. And that's I think that's a big achievement for us. Like fi- like finally this year we have every single Pokemon registered in the Pokemon, Pokemon Masters. We are officially Pokemon <laughs> Masters, and so now it, it seems like okay, cool. The next DLC comes out. There's only nine Pokemon to get. Only nine. You've only got to get nine. Oh, great. And I feel like now moving forward with every Pokemon game, I'm so motivated to just catch everything forever now. Like, yeah, yeah like yeah. We've only got they, to get... They've hooked us in. Yeah, we've only got to get the latest stuff now. That's all. <laughs> You've got to get your Pokemon homes worth of fun. Yes, well, I've, I've, yes, I do have a year's subscription. <sighs> oh, actually, I've got to play for... I've, I've only paid for a month, so that means I have to do it this month. <laughs> uh, um, Nick, m- moving on through my list, Mario movie came out, and I just wanted... like I was hyped, mm. and I'm just like... I wanted to play something Mario, but I bought all the Marios and I played mm. all the Marios. Mm. So I double dipped and bought Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze and reiterated, I love jumping. So I'm glad you played that. Yes. But we'll move on. Yes. And and then the, the you know, we got a few minutes left, about six minutes, I think, from this section. Um, yep. Tears of the Kingdom, Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2, Shadow Drop, mm. Pikmin 4. Mm. And then, like, that was, like, my just ultimate happy place that I could just play that much Pikmin mm, in a yeah, row. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't replayed three, but did we do a Pikmin spoiler cast? I think we did. I think we, yeah, did. we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. We absolutely did. And then, you know, something happened. I bought Persona 5 Royal, I don't know, a year and a half ago, and got completely re-obsessed <clears throat> with that game yeah i know the, the oh, first man. 10 hours the first 10 hours is like oh, man it's really hard and then i just got yeah totally obsessed had to do everything maxed out every confident mm. confidant um yeah. got all the social stats um beat the dlc or i guess all the extra content mm. um new expanded story and mm. i was like this experience is living with me for the rest of my life mm and yeah we uh, i should share a little conversation uh i think i texted you i was i'm like nick when i die you have to play persona 5 royal because it's 125 hours and that's like the appropriate amount of time to mourn my death and then you'll like you'll hear the music again sometimes and you'll be like oh this will make you sad or make you happy and i'll be with you forever (laughs) well i've also i haven't replayed it since i was 18 19 <clears throat> but I've I've promised myself that 2018 when, for people at home. <laughs> uh, so, oh, sorry. No, it wouldn't. No, 2008. 2008. Uh, since 2008, uh, I haven't played Okami, and I promised myself. Oh, that, sorry. I thought you were talking about Persona Five originally. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. No. no. Yeah, yeah, right, uh, right. But I, I promised myself that when Kiba dies, hopefully in like 40 years, that <gasps> I will <clears throat> that I will replay Okami as like that's like a hundred hour sort of tribute where I get to play as kind of my dog and I get to do like a nice big farewell to him and just like, Oh, Oh yeah. It's oh. going gonna to make me very much. Apparently, um, in the newest DLC in Pokemon Indigo disc, you can <clears throat> become the Pokemon. Oh, as well. I, I, I haven't, I haven't looked into it, but I, I'm presuming it's just, you just walk them around <clears throat> and you control where they move. All right. So you could be, you know, one of the dog, like, legendaries or arcanine or something Z- zamazenta and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah and i don't become, know and become Cuba. anyway yeah but and so, Nick, oh, to finish oh, off the year God. finish off the year for me in our three minutes then we'll go to you okay uh f-099 
had a great, we and you had a great time together playing we did that. Have, we did have a that, great day. That was real fun. That was that like was a couple a... of hours. We got really into it. Yeah. That's all I need. Great little experience. Yeah. And then I, I, I don't, need to go, don't need to go back. Yeah. My, uh, for me, Mario Wonder, great. I love jumping. Mm. Uh, and I want a bit more of it. And I want yep. even more craziness from the Wonder effects. They're like, yes, yes, it's true. Every single one is unique of like, I don't know how many levels, just say 100 levels. Every single yep. one is different. But I just wanted even more from that. Well, to I go back... I don't, know, I don't know how to... To go back to your uh, your other question, you said it before, like when I went through my list um, of like games that I played on PlayStation, is there anything that you uh, missed on Switch that you would like to come back to? Um, definitely the Mario RPG. I haven't played the SNES version. Mm. Um, and just for some reason, I'm just not really keen on playing this one on Switch. Mm. Um, and like, I... I I kind of want to go back to Fire Emblem games just to say, like, you know, I've done that, but I mm. probably won't. Mario RPG is probably more realistic for me, mm. um, but i just not motivated there yet to do that. Mm. And, you know, I'm RPG'd out, um, or I guess even Persona 5 Tactica. Like, I am yeah played Persona 5. I played uh, uh, Mario plus Rabbids. I'm like, I'm mm. ta- tactics out at the moment mm. Burnt although out. at least knowing uh, according to jake and like the you know how long to beat website it's only like 15 hours long so that's that's oh i thought it was 40 no oh, that's i'm pretty sure i oh, read that okay. it's like 15 15 is like that's nice i can do that um but uh okay so and obviously then the games that you you already sort of said the games that uh dropped off for you which was fire emblem and engage mm. and uh that other persona one which uh, just like, yeah i oh, no, that sorry, it was on xbox and- um, but like you know, because it was Game Pass, I'm like, what have I lost? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. Uh, and then I say? guess Pokemon Teal Mask, if that if that counts, I have finished that. Yeah, we will. We'll we'll go back. Yeah, we'll go back to that. Um, uh, what else? What should, else? We, should we take take a break and come back to you, Unless you got any questions for me in ninety seconds or less? Nah, I reckon. Yeah, we'll take a break. We'll take a break. Okay. We'll, we'll see be you in right a bit. back, and we'll talk about Nick's favorite Switch games or the games he played. Whoop whoop. Be right back. Be right back. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Pick four. And we are back, everybody. Jeffrey looked a little distracted there, but I think he, I think he's back. Uh, because uh, uh, I'm like, okay, oh, we forgot to talk about Zelda, but that's fine. So, no, we'll get to that. Yeah, Zelda, we'll... Zelda, Zelda. But Nick, before before we go on to you, yeah, I guess nice comparison, Nick versus Jeff. Hmm. You know, Xbox I didn't touch really. Yeah, eleven hours. PlayStation was 178 hours for me. I think it was probably three hundred and something for you. Yeah. Oh, how many hours does it say? Hold on. Well, three hundred and forty-three hours on the PlayStation Five this year. Yeah, so, so double. So you d- double for me. Oh, sorry, you've doubled me. And I was kind of a bit worried when I only had five PS Five games. I'm like, am I even a gamer? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, I, I tell, of course we are. But yeah. I'm like, oh, and then the Switch wrap up came out, and mine said, you know, thirty six games, but it's not. Well, I probably downloaded a few trials to touch yeah. them and get my hundred gold coins or whatever. Yeah. But six hundred and fifty four hours of Switch time. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. I yes, I definitely do play video games, and that, like that's quite a big number. So yeah. how many and, hours for you for Switch? And see, so that's like, it. Looks like that balances out because if I played 350 hours and you played half of that on the PlayStation I've played 439 hours on the Switch so you've got another oh. there's, the, there's the time yeah. there's the time difference yeah. when I was playing the PlayStation you were clearly just playing Persona on Switch rocking up another 100 hours <laughs> 125 hours I'm like, I'm like yeah I'll replay Alan Wake oh, I'll play Sonic Frontiers yeah I'll, I'll play Poli- uh, Callisto Protocol and Dead Space and all these like 10 hour games and you were just like well, actually, Sonic, Sonic, I think I played quite a bit of hours into. I think I chucked quite a bit of hours into. But I put... Oh my... I saw this before. I chucked 120 hours into Resident Evil 4. Yes, I, I was shocked about that. I think mine was like 40 or 50. Mm. Maybe 60. It was it was like a lot. Because mm. I replayed it so many times and it's yeah. so replayable. 
Yeah. yeah, yours is a lot. Uh, yeah, and even and even Dead Space, I put forty eight hours into Dead Space. Wow, which is you have to you have to replay it a certain amount of times, right? And yeah, all in a certain way, like like no, gun, you know, like no damage or like pistol only or whatever. The yeah, that kind of stuff. Ha- handgun, hand cutter, plasma yeah. cutter only. Yeah, and then like well, there was the one playing it on the um the impossible difficulty or whatever where you can only was it i can't remember it's not like three saves or something it's just like yeah that wasn't that dead space 2 three saves only dead space 2 was three saves only but i can't i actually can't remember what the latest one was i think it was permanent oh yeah that's right it was it was complete permanent if you died you went back to like it was game over like imagine imagine dead space remake 2 oh man that'd be so good if only oh we, we can dream it'll hopefully it comes i mean they've got the engine there maybe yeah hmm. anyway uh moving on tell me to... about your switch games nick what how's switch your games? switch journey for the year so going I, from... I feel like ours might be a little bit different yeah well going from oh i was gonna say going from the backwards forwards but oh no it says started okay well for some reason uh it's got the super nintendo entertainment system there that i played for less than an hour (laughs) you started the year with some classics yeah Yeah, so i don't know if that if that's there somewhere but um i'll just it's not in any any sort of particular order uh but the first one there it's got tears of the kingdom and i've got 168 hours into that oh okay i think mine mine says 198 i believe it yeah i mean like I think I started cheating earlier than you did as far as the... The, ch- the cheating made the game last even longer. Like, because I, I was doing things that, that you're I, not really meant to do. Yeah, or just right? things that, yeah, we would normally do. But for me, I feel like after doing all that sort of stuff, we did like a two-hour spoiler cast on Zelda, but now even more after all this time has passed and reflecting on it, I don't know if I like the game as much as I think... I maybe in t- uh, as much as I said back when it started, just because there like there's so many things that we talked about that could fix it to make everything more streamlined or just make everything more fun. Like the grinding, because I wanted to do everything, but the grinding of it was just like ah oh, to get all the diamonds and all the money that you would need, and like and changing costumes all the fucking time. Yeah, and just it like, needs it needs a costume <clears throat> weapon wheel hot swap. Yeah, just like like the it needs the um like the black suit spider-man version of the of like link suit because you know like that it, it can change into anything right you know it can turn into even, like a tuxedo even, like, and... the whole one of the whole things about the game is the items and the items have properties that do things to your mm. sword shield whatever right yeah like i just sort of you, you stuck to what you knew because going through that like the giant list of everything it's just it just took too long and just like and like every weapon i had had lionel horns equipped and diamonds and more lionel horns and diamond and just like oh man like it's <sighs> i the story so, story's great and like the get, general gameplay like getting lost in that world is fun but there's so many things with it that i'm like it's not that great like, it, it, there's so many things that could have been better and fixed i guess when, when i said like you know oh my game of the year is pikmin 4 and because like I, i'm itching to replay it right mm, yeah like yeah, I could replay Zelda. If there was like a new game plus mode or hard mode, I'd, I'd probably be there. Like, I think I would be there, right? Mm. Um, and I play. my experience would be different because I'd just beeline, you know, what I need to do. Yeah. But like thinking about all those other things, like uh, building the contraptions. And like, yeah, I love the, the not, not dungeons, what are they called? Shrines. Yeah. Like, they're, like it's fun. Like, it's a fun challenge or whatever, right? Yep. But like, oh, I don't really want to go and do all 156 of them again mm. i don't want to go build up my armor sets again like mm. i don't want to build those contraptions it's like do it like the depths was so so fun for me mm. but like do i really want to explore the depths again mm. and like gathering all those resources and just like oh cool i want to build you know another get around motorbike machine or car or something like that. oh do i have everything i need oh no i'm missing this i'm missing this. oh okay, okay i gotta go mine for some rocks or i gotta go put some coins into a slot machine again oh i don't have any coins <laughs> for the slot machine just like ah, oh. yeah it just there's so many things that if i could if i could tinker with it hopefully maybe they've taken what people have learned and or what everyone said and they can make the next zelda better really i'm yeah, just well- like i think i said to you earlier on uh, maybe a couple weeks ago i'm hoping for a remake of ocarina of time with like a new engine but give it that tears of the kingdom sprinkle where after you do uh once you come out of the korok forest you can then either go to the zora's domain you can go to death mountain or 
You, you can, well, you can go, you know, in any order. And then once you pull the sword out, you can then go to any of them in any order. You can travel anywhere. It just make it like mm. that. Make it open world. I, I, I definitely feel like something like that's on the cards where it'll be a reimagining of Ocarina mm. of Time. Mm. Um, and I, I feel like they could probably give that to, like, the B team. Mm. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. Whatever team somewhere or outsource it will do anything. Yeah. And everyone will eat it up. They're like, yep, yep. cool. It's the classic Zelda, but, like... You know, the Kokori uh, Forest isn't yeah. like an e- entrance and exit, like going through over a bridge or whatever. Like, yeah. it's just all part of the landscape. Yeah. Switch 2. Yeah, <laughs> Switch 2. More power. And give us, um, give us that Wind Waker and uh, Twilight Princess. Yeah, no, uh, no loading <laughs> screen version Yeah, of, of that Hyrule world. Mm. Anyway, uh, moving on from Zelda. Uh, next time I got is Pokemon Scarlet, which we've sort of spoke about already, like... A game needs some fixing, but it's still so much fun catching Pokemon. Like the yeah, I I put off playing it for like what three months I think two yeah, three months. Yeah. Mm. yeah, playing other stuff because I was like, oh, it looks buggy. It looks it just it plays like ass. No, I'm happy to wait. <laughs> it's funny how quickly like the performance is still terrible. But like when you're playing on handheld mode, then you can just kind of like kind of forget about it. Mm. Uh, then yeah, we've got Pikmin Four. Pikmin 4. It played 45 hours of Pikmin 4. And, like, you're right. I think I would rather play Pikmin 4 three times than play through Zelda again. Just, like, it's you're right. It's just something... It's so fun and it's so joyful and playful. And something about... Because we're so good at that that time management and be like, okay, I need to go... Okay, look at the map. I've got to go there, 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 there. Okay, sweet. Ochi, you go that way. I'll go this way. Collect this. Collect that. Pikmin, do your job. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, sunrise is co- sunset's coming. Ah, that's all right. I'm already done. Ha-ha. <laughs> like... <laughs> I, I think you're right. Actually, now that you're talking about, it's the it's the satisfaction of the challenge we put on ourselves as well. Mm. Mm. Um, could, like you don't need to adhere to the time, <clears throat> any time limit really. That's right. Um, but like, yeah, we want to do it in like ten days or like, fifteen days or whatever, whatever the thing is. Like, and and the satisfaction of being Dandori, like <sighs> it's so real. I love being Dandori. <laughs> But uh, yeah, unfortunately, not a big fan of the Dandori battles. Bring back bingo yeah. battle. Hashtag bring back bingo battle. <laughs> Can we start that? Yeah, oh, I'd love that. i put that in the comments. Hashtag bring back bingo battle. Uh, next on my list, we've got Hades. I played another uh, 30 hours. I played another 30 hours of 30 Hades. Hours. Yeah, I'm so t- addicted. T- like- tell the people what, what are your rewards for the 30 hours you've played Oh, I just I've just increased the heat level up to I think all pretty much all the weapons are up to about level eighteen at the minute, uh, as far as the rewards go. But I've I purchased. Does it, does it keep going? Like I think I I remember challenging myself with the heats. Ooh, like th- once you get to a certain level, does more unlock? I think if you just keep maxing it out, I think the most heat you can have is like thirty eight or something like that. Which, or maybe is it 39. even fun when you add that much heat? Oh, if you can. See, I'm at the point now where if I like I've played so much that I wish I could just choose the boons that I want instead of like having oh you got three to pick from from Aphrodite or three to yeah. pick from from Artemis. I'd rather just preset what I want when I go through instead of like having it be random and not like because you can kind of manipulate it enough that you can still be pretty powerful by the end. But mm. I I want to be able to be like what if I get this combination and this combination and this combination and just play with it a bit more than having oh whatever you know i guess whatever god is next and that's that's still kind of random so i i I do remember playing it and it was fascinating like when like my goal changed to discover every separate every type of weapon or combination Mm. or you know boon combination and how much you could play the game to like all right make this god appear and just manipulate everything to get what you want yeah. But you, like you had to be very specific to do that. Yeah, and it's still, and you still can't do it one hundred percent. You can manipulate it most of the way, but not. It's not like a guaranteed. Like this is what you're gonna get. This is what you want. So, but yeah, Hades I'd, who win? Oh, I don't know, but I can't wait. Uh, next, we got Metroid Prime. That speaks for itself. Uh, like, how great was that to just be like, and Metroid Prime comes out. Was it like now or tomorrow or later today or something? We're just like. <gasps> Like, I know I'm a Nintendo fanboy, right? Like, but, um, mm. hearing the God Samus. of War, Ragnarok, Valhalla thing. <laughs> Sorry, just Samus. Like, like, <laughs> like <wrong> hearing <laughs> that as, like, a free DLC drop, like, next week. Yeah. I, I kind of wish... I mean, that's incredible, right? I mm. lo- love that. Obviously, mm. I can't download that 200 mm. gigabyte patch to get, to get that right yeah. now. So, I hope it's great. And I'm like, 
part of me wishes Nintendo does like, oh, Nintendo Direct, Christmas Eve, we love the fans so much. Pikmin 4, New Game Plus. Zelda, New Game Plus. Um, yeah. I don't know what, what other games came out came out last year. Uh-huh. This year, I don't know. Uh, oh, and, uh, <laughs> all my uh, list. A pa- pa- patch update for uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Now it runs properly. Yeah. <laughs> and and and, you, and you know, like and coming next week, uh, Metro Primary Mastered Two. Yes, you know, or like two and three, and then also that uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD collection combined oh, yeah, in one know, pack. Or Mario Mario Wonder free level pack or something. Or yeah. even I'll even I'll even buy it. Mm. I don't know. We can dream. And we, we can, can have dream. and That'd we can have cool. those dreams crushed constantly by Nintendo. Um, next, we've got on here uh, Pokemon Sword, and I think that's what I was that I'm like ninety. I played seventeen hours of that this year, uh, and wow. I think yeah, I think that's because I I mean I was on the mission to collect them all. Yeah, uh, but I think I that's helped what, you with that. I feel you did. You did. I felt like. uh, and that's that's what I was playing when. Um, uh, when Scarlet came out, I think because I was like, oh, it hasn't, you know, I bought the DLC for Pokemon Sword, but I still hadn't played it until this year. Um, and I'm like, well, Scarlet's out. Scarlet doesn't run well. Everyone's got this Pokemon fix at the moment. So I'm going to replay that Pokemon Sword DLC that I paid for with money. And then I'll think, come back. and I, pl- I played that for nine hours. <whistles> nine hey hours to get you that Pokemon. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, and then what do we got? Uh, Pikmin two, so I replayed that again. Pikmin two, great. Uh, Pikmin three, we played. Well, on my Switch, we played thirteen hours of Pikmin three. Wow, does my I don't, I don't know if it says that on mine. Uh, two hours. It must have been definitely your Switch then. Mm, well, Pikmin three deluxe for me. Is that all? We only played that many. I feel like we still played more than that. But anyway, uh, Mario Kart eight deluxe. I played another thirteen hours of Mario Kart this year. Uh, Smash Brothers, of course. On there, Mario Party Superstars, speak for itself, Pikmin 1. I only played five hours of that. It took me five hours to finish. Wow. Yeah, mine says six hours. I think I tried to do, like, the mission mode at the end. I'm like, yeah, this is not fun. Yeah. Uh, Enter the Gungeon. I played a little bit of that. I remember getting... I think that was another drinking game with Neff. I just played some more... Um, was that... The there was... And the, there's an exit the Gungeon, too, but apparently it's, like, a different game made by different people. Well, Enter the Gungeon is, you know, another roguelike game, but... It, it's one that I've never finished. I started playing... Well, this year I played five hours of it. But... Uh, well, yeah, maybe five hours of it. But I started playing it back in 2018 and I've still never finished it. This is a hard game. Another bullet hell. Uh, Returnal. That was the game on PS5. Returnal. That I yeah, Returnal. Uh, we've got uh, Super Mario Party. So just another more party nights of people coming over. f 99. That was great. I, I really... I would have loved to have won a race... But I guess who who wouldn't, right? It's I, I did go back to um, play the new classic version. Mm. It's hard, and now I think it's mm. at the point where everyone that has left playing are super hardcore players, right? Yeah. All the yeah. casuals dropped off, so yeah. your chances of winning are none. <laughs> Even like yeah, it's just like not going to happen. Um, the game that I would like to go back to. Uh, is Tales of Symphonia remastered? Oh, you were so excited about that, and you're like, "I'm not paying this price. I'm not paying this price. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it." And then I think I don't know if you paid ended up a sale price. Uh, or I, price. I think I paid like twenty bucks for it. Maybe it was it was half price. That's fine. That, yeah. that's, that's that's fine. Yeah. Um. And I, yeah, I I played I played a few hours of it. I think I did the first. Uh, I guess the second temple, the first real temple, after you yeah. leave your main town and like after Colette. I, I, I remember the second temple. Yeah, yeah. After you, had, you definitely had Rain and the kid. Um, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Well, Lloyd, Colette, Kratos. Oh, and then who's Rain. the purple chick? Oh, I don't think she comes. She doesn't Sheena? come until Sheena. Yeah, yeah. She, she doesn't still come until it. later. Still no. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I would like to go back to that eventually. But that's another one that's just sort of gonna have to wait until there's maybe nothing to play i've just started final fantasy 15 which is a much much flashier game but uh moving on uh we played some more pokemon unite two hours of pokemon unite this year only two only two only two all right well uh, that done. would that would have been when my niece and nephew come over so they would have wanted to play some more of that so that'd be that's what that is uh worldwide games played some more worldwide games uh What's i fit the clubhouse clubhouse games 51 oh, okay yes, yes, yes yeah. yep yep um, then we've got Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. I finished that. This shit, like, I, it's great. I loved it. It's got a cool like level up system for the turtles. It's like five player, I think, six player. 
Chaos won the oh, six people. I, yeah, I think I did play a level or two on Xbox last year. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's like it's very clean, very well animated. Everything's very bright and colorful, and just like it's just cool Ninja Turtles. Like a lot of love went into that game. C- clearly, a lot of love went Definitely. into that game. Um, Pokemon Quest. Apparently, I booted that up at some point. Uh, but I, <laughs> but I also played the same amount of time of Pokemon Quest that I did of Super Mario Wonder. I've played <laughs> since, I, since I've played one hour of Super Mario One. I feel like I've played like at least two or three, but I digress. Um, I I will go. That'll be a, a chip away game over the years. Like that'll just friends will come over. Like I won't play that by myself. You might be on some long flights, and yeah. you're like, "This is the perfect game for this." No, no, that's Tales of Symphonia. Sym- Symphonia is the long flights. You watch the the next time I boot that game up will be when we go into Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Boomerang Foo. I played a little bit of that too. Oh, I... you played that one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we both played Oh, wait, sorry, $2. sorry. I'm thinking of Boomerang X. Oh, no, no. Boom- Boomerang Boom- Foo, yeah. Great party game. So yeah, much great, fun. Great party game. Uh, I've played less than one hour of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. <laughs> <laughs> I want that back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you Makes do. Makes me so happy. Uh, I'm sure you do. Uh, that's funny. Uh, I played a little bit of Overcooked. Uh, I played a little bit of Legend of Arceus, allegedly. Rubber Bandits. Uh, a couple of the Jackbox. Probably seen a Pokemon. Yeah, three of the Jackbox games. Ten Second Returns. I played less than an hour of Switch Sports. That would have been when we tried to record the golf uh. version of Nick vs. Jeff. Uh, Astro Bear Party. Timberman vs. I played a little bit of Tetris 99. I, I, Nick, I've got one here, actually. That I'm looking oh. through my list, too. Yeah. Less than one hour played. Get something I've always wanted to play. Yeah. Uh, you know, F Zero never came out on Switch until the '99 version thing. Yeah. Uh, Fast RMX, and I'm like, oh, it's 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 like wipe out the F Zero light thing. Right. Okay. Anyway, I thought always wanted to play it. I'm like, oh, it's on sale. Oh yeah, fifteen bucks. No, thirty yeah, bucks. No. no. And then it was like a free trial, you know, on the uh, Switch yes. Online. Yep. And then I just didn't really care. Yeah. So it's, it's it's weird. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and then the last game on the list well it's missing one but it's got Super Mario RPG there and all I did was just boot that up I haven't actually played it so but that's another one that I, I will go back to I mean I've paid for it it's sitting there and I will I do plan to play it it's just you know I've been busy playing Alan Wake Alan Wake 2 and now Final Fantasy they're all just sort of sitting there and I figure with Final Fantasy I have the disc version of that and if you don't want to play it when I'm done then I will just sell it so uh, and if you sell it you sell it if I play it I play it yeah I mean, it looks incredible. Um, I think when I first just saw, it was like, oh, it's like the Game of thrones uh, affied Final Fantasy 16. I'm just like, I don't like Game of Thrones. <laughs> I mean, I did. But uh, the, the game that's missing off the list, and I think if it's missing off mine, it's probably missing off yours too, is the uh, Soika game. Hi! <laughs> yes! <laughs> it is. Obviously generated before... Um, yeah, but, know, yeah, that came out. Yeah, <laughs> what a fun, what a fun <laughs> experience! Like, I, 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 pay, I, I paid the four dollars fifty for it. I'm like, yep. I said it. Yep. Do you I know, that. Nick? There is like thirteen or fifteen. Uh, there is a lot of the same game on mobile phone. Right. right? Oh, I and saw I, that. Yeah. I, I, I can. I cannot tell what is like the official one and what's a knockoff because everything looks identical. I don't think there's an... Um, is there an official one? I don't think there's an official one released. I, I, I don't know, but there's like 13 different versions and I'm just... I, I kind of thought like, oh, yeah, that'd be like a Google Play Store kind of thing, but like, oh, yeah. clearly Apple doesn't care either. No. Um, Great I'm game. Like, and, then, and then Chris sent me a screenshot like, oh, I beat your score, I beat your score. I'm like, oh, like, how, how'd you get it like vertical or something, or widescreen or something? And I'm like, oh, did you play it on your phone? And I'm like, well, how can I compare your score on the phone to my score on the console? I'm like, that doesn't count. And my score got higher anyway um, since. So I'm just like, no. So hold on. Who has the highest score? Do I still have the highest score or have you beaten Matt? Oh, I I feel like mine's 226 something. Okay. So mine's mine's like 27, 2800 or something like that. Oh, I've got to to check this afterwards. Yeah. (sighs) Right. I can't let you win, Pathetic. Andrew. Go beat up my switch. Go beat up my switch. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that crazy? Like that, I, I've I reckon I've played six hours of that. Wow. But, <laughs> do Do you have the music on or off? On, absolutely on. 
Uh, well, there's even like a live, there's even a live stream on youtube.com slash Nick and Jeff where oh. I, I played like 45 minutes of it. So wow, I, I haven't watched that one. <laughs> no, no, yeah. It's, and I, I, I watched, to be honest, I watched maybe like, I skimmed through it uh, for five minutes and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm not fun to listen to during this because I'm just like, oh, fucking fruit. <laughs> you know, the, it's, hard. I, it's hard. I don't know how people uh, do it. And I didn't, I don't think I shut up the whole time, like 45 minutes of being like, come on, you stupid fruit, just go more to the lab. I'm going to get the strawberry. If we just double the cherry, that'll get to the strawberry, that'll get to the watermelon. But yeah. 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 Uh, what, a, what a great time. Yeah. What Makes a great me very time. happy. Yeah. What a fun little note. Um,. Nick, look, I think we've come to the end of our journey. Yeah. Of talking about all the games, I did have some like I had some additional questions. Um, games you started but you won't come back to. I think we kind of addressed. Yeah, we did kind of, of address that. Yeah. Um, biggest surprise of the year. Biggest surprise. Alan Wake Two. How good it was for you. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like it, it comes out and it's got a bunch of great reviews and everything, but like. I, I don't think that game even popped up on... Like, I don't know when the first trailer was released for that game, but I don't think that game popped up on my radar until August, September of like, oh, they're making a sequel to Alan Wake. Oh, I wonder. Like, hopefully that's good because I, I did enjoy the first one. So maybe, you know, the first one's on my wish list and I'm waiting for that to be cheap. So well, hopefully the second one's good. And then like hearing whispers of it through little podcasts was like, oh, Alan Wake 2. Like I went to the demo, the preview, and it's just, this game is like, this game is special. This game is something else. Like, I'm like, hmm, let me something to keep an eye out for. I, so. I, so I can't wait to play it. I will, I will play it. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Nick, uh, I think one of my favorite ones, what's the worst game you finished this year that you kind of feel a bit dirty about? The worst game I finished. The oh. worst game you finished. <sighs> Oh, you go. You go first. I, I didn't finish it, but I'm still dirty on Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> like, I, 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 <laughs> uh, like, I'm dirty on Hogwarts Legacy. I'm dirty on Gotham Knights. I wasn't... Oh, not a fan of that. Uh, I, I feel like... Uh, I, probably for me, Bayonetta 3. I don't, I don't know why. Mm. I don't want to hate on it. But I'm just like... Uh, I, I think I, I pushed myself through to the end. Yeah, see, like, and it's not, it's not, it's not bad in any way. I just, I don't know. I feel like I just pushed myself to get to it. Yeah, see, I don't know. Like Super Mario Wonder, that'll take me a year to finish. I'm not dirty on it, but it's just the game. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. Buying this, that I will. It's not like I'm gonna play it and like oh, I gotta, I gotta beat it. It's gonna be something that I chip away at. So I'm not, not dirty about it, but I'm not like super stoked about it either. These 2D Mario games aren't really my. I like the 3D ones. They're my jam. Uh, but your question was games I'm dirty on that I finished. I think I'm dirty on Tears of the Kingdom out of everything, oh, out of everything wow. the most. Yeah, like I think that's what I'm probably the most dirty on, apart from yeah. You know, I, I think the the journey of finishing the game, well for me, and then the du- the duplicating glitch mm. really changed that that end game experience. Mm. Um, you know. I remember how sore my thumbs got on the train for doing that damn combo and you told me like the better way to do it in the yeah. end like and then like not being able to turn the switch off because all like pressing <laughs> home then start then no don't reset like yeah, that fear oh. of updating man oh boy yeah yeah um, oh, oh you know what still dirty on Pokemon Scarlet not it just runs so terribly like especially after playing Pokemon Sword and just how smooth Sword is when yeah. it's like it's the same graphics isn't it it's like the same engine and everything <laughs> like what's what's changed to make it and so e- e- even that nintendo's like yeah we acknowledge it blah 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 the dlc like okay it's just just a smaller island it's not gigantic it's like it's fine yeah still the same still the same probably worse <laughs> unless it after watching uh it was like I, i've gotten i think this year i've gotten hooked on uh the youtube channel girlfriend uh, girlfriend reviews because of you um and like i loved that they did resident evil 4 they're like oh this is the third time we've reviewed resident evil 4 but then when she did the pokemon scarlet and violet she's like oh now just imagine the most ex- you know the best franchise in the world it makes more money than star wars it makes more money than lego it makes more money than anything any other entertainment medium in the world pokemon makes more than anything just imagine what that video game would look like yep 
just one big turd <laughs> just like it just like it just runs so terrible and like you're right it is it's just like the biggest franchise in the world the biggest and it the game runs like absolute trash and we eat that trash like morons <laughs> like oh so dirty <sighs> i bought the dlc i wasn't gonna and then yeah. because of, you know because i paid money for pokemon home but like you know it's a tiny amount I'm like get all the Pokemon like, I've got to keep that journey on so like I'm locked yeah. in yeah I'm locked I'm in I'm not escaping I've got to catch them all got to catch them all yeah <laughs> Nick to me I think I want to, I've got the biggest surprise listed here and I feel like it's just Switch is still here mm. seven years later yeah and cool I, like I'm ready for Switch 2 yeah I, I don't want it to be gigantic but like even like oh man it's just like oh, okay games look terrible they run terrible mm. and somehow Tears of the Kingdom looks incredible like you know had a tiny bit of slowdown when mm. you had Ultran but like it's still like wow how do they pull this off and then me like you know being the Pikmin fan I'm like Pikmin 4 looks just like if, if you said this is a PS5, PS5 game I'd be like yeah it is that's what they look like yep. I'm just like how how yeah. do they, like how do they have such extreme highs and Pokemon Low lows. Violet Scarlet like mm. oh it's just it's actually nuts. you know what I do have another quick topic so we got well oh, I think yeah. quick, quick topic so we had, we're at a minute uh, sorry an hour minutes, and nine minutes yeah we've got ten minutes left uh, but here we go so what are you looking forward to in 2024 is there anything on your radar for 2024 does Nintendo have anything on the books for 2024. There's, like, there's officially, the, from memory, Peach Showtime, Luigi's Mansion 2, and Paper Mario 1000 Year Door remake. And maybe there's one other thing that I can't remember. Right. right. There's no Zelda. I, I feel no like Pokemon. that's kind of kind of it. Um, I'm not... I, I I want to be excited about whatever Peach, Peach Showtime is. To me, yeah. it's a game that I obviously know nothing about. But I'm like, oh, cool. I will buy that. I will play that. I'm like, that's neat. I will sell it. Because I'm like, does it need to be part of my collection forever? I don't know. It might be that good. I I, I don't know. But that's how I feel about it. Mm. And the other two are games I've played and loved, but I don't want to buy again. Yeah. Well, actually, something that I would like to come back to um, later on as well is that new God of War Ragnarok DLC. So we'll come back to that. We'll play that. That'll be on. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Mm. Yeah, That'll be on the list for 2024. Break. Uh, but even looking at the PlayStation Five, like we've got the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, so I will we'll play that. Oh, is that January? Or oh, I think it's Feb- January, February. I think it's supposed to be uh, Prince of Persia. Oh the- yes, I and there was that other game that looked just like Prince of Persia, um, yeah, but maybe Af- I- more African vibes or whatever. Yeah, I-, I want both of those. Hold on, hold more on. Metroidvanias, Metroid Dreadvanias in my life. When we watched the Game Awards, I did make a list. Of games that I'm looking forward to. I don't know when they were coming out, but uh, we got Black Black Myth Wukong, uh, whatever new game was coming from the the Ori and the Blind Forest developers. Oh, yes. That's, that was literally what I wrote in my note. I can't remember what the game's called, but I'll look that up later. Uh, it was High Moon Studios or something. Uh, the Jurassic Park game, Windblown, <laughs> uh, Bannisters: Ghosts of New Eden, and the new Dr- Dragon Ball Z game. Very like cool. the but like yeah. Oh, yeah, um, Nick, cool. overall, like, is this a banger year for video games? Absolutely, I I think so. Don't you reckon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess the, I just feel bad for Xbox because I just didn't like we've got the console, but I just didn't care about Starfield in any way. And whatever yeah. was it, Redfall? Yeah, whatever disaster that ended up being. And the, I guess there are you know a lot of the games that we have talked about would be available on the xbox but because like i guess we're so invested into like that playstation and nintendo culture unless there's some sort of like big exclusive that just like oh my god you have to play this game uh like starfield (laughs) yeah well i guess for xbox next year i'll I'll boot it up for uh hellblade hellblade 2 oh yeah um i think that's an exclusive for xbox isn't it surely has to be um you know like marvel's blade (laughs) like maybe like a new halo or something is blade an xbox exclusive no, it's not. We don't know. Oh, okay, it, it, we don't know. <laughs> but still, like, yeah. I mean, I'm sure Dead Space was available on the Xbox, Resident Evil 4, Hogwarts Legacy, Jedi Survivor. Like, the only one that's not there is Spider-Man 2, and that's my game of the year. So, like, I can't, uh, I can't live with that. 
I think I think Spider-Man. this year sort of solidified for me. <laughs> um, you know, like I'm I'm here for PlayStation for like those gigantic mega quadruple A experiences, right? Mm. So I was souls, but not souls. And then I'm here on Switch just to like chill out, play games on the couch, you know, play games on the train, mm. you know, like just more casual. Must that must be my style, laid mm. back, playing where playing wherever I am when I need to rather than dedicating my time to sitting down on the couch well next question then because you're right i think like switch 2 is it will definitely be announced 2020 like well you know do you think it comes out 2024 let's hope let's hope maybe it gets announced before the end of the year maybe we get lucky Uh, hopefully it comes out 5th of may 5th of may (laughs) just (laughs) well right before we go to japan right on your birthday yeah oh can you imagine can you imagine if it comes out while we're in Japan? Oh! Nick, there is no better cultural phenomenal experience of like game game launches in Japan. Imagine what a console launch would be. <sighs> but okay, I was thinking about this the other day because I was wandering around JB Hi-Fi and they had all these these Steam Deck or whatever they are, these little portable yeah, handhelds. Rogue, that, Rogue Ally, whatever. Yeah, the, this, these Switch-esque uh, looking consoles. And they're all... At least the ones I saw were, were around a thousand bucks up to maybe twelve hundred. Doesn't seem bad. I like that rogue rogue ally thousand bucks. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and that's I like, think, like mm. yeah. I I feel like if they were to bring out a Switch Two or like you know whatever the, if they des- decide to call it, I would pay a thousand bucks for like a Switch Two, like a nice pretty OLED yeah, screen I, and like I would like like I don't know what I mean. The PS Five was what 800 bucks 800 dollars, yeah and like if they can pump some more power into it and make like a hey here's a simple version and here's like a you know i don't know like a pro switch version or something maybe like one that just has an oled screen versus one that has a, a little led screen and it's a few hundred dollars more like same with the switch oled i'd pay probably a thousand bucks for a switch too yeah i i was thinking the same thing it's like if i was invested into the steam or pc o- ecosystem I would absolutely get yeah. those that style of console because um, I guess the only thing like you know all my Joy-Con are on a Christmas tree at the moment, so I've been using my chunky GameCube Joy-Cons, right? Mm. And the only thing that I, I've like I personally don't like is like wow these GameCube controllers are just so big on this Switch and now it takes up so much room in my bag and this whole thing is gone from this to like this like it's just mm. gotten so much bigger. And that's the only thing I'm, I'm afraid of. But I'm like, ah, oh, would I sacrifice, you know, unlimited power for a bigger thing to have to carry around? I think the answer would be yes. Yeah. Well, and that's because, like, you look at uh, the latest iPhone, iPhone 15. It can run Resident Evil 4. It can run Resident Evil Village. These are PS4, like, PS4, PS5 games. They're probably, like, slightly downgraded for... It's probably, like, the PS4 version that's running on your iPhone. But, like, that fits in this. That's this size. So, like, surely if they do a Switch 2, they can make it Switch size with the same power, but obviously mm. then we're looking at, you know, cost, and it then it begs the question of, like, what Nintendo is, which is this family-friendly extravaganza of, like, everyone just buys a Switch and kids can sort of toss it around and whatever. I don't think parents will pay a thousand bucks, but, like, I would. And there's enough yeah, adult-grown well, adult babies out there that would I guess they marketed the Switch to adults first more than the family and then the family bit came, you know, later. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe that's the same thing. You know, market to the hardcore crowd, give them what they want. Not Metroid Prime 4 as a launch title. That'll be a disaster for them. Oh, God. I mean, I want Metroid Prime 4, but like... Yeah. That's not the that's not the thing that's going to sell the system. But to, and, yeah. And then I mean, bring in that next wave of casual crowds. But... Uh, mm. I mean, it was us. Anyway, that's a that's a that could be an excellent uh, first podcast of the year. That's not Alan Wake two topic, Nick. Oh yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait for you to play it. Uh, I think I think we're at the end of our journey, our yep. experience. Yep. Next game of the year, uh, if I can remember, Resident Evil four. No, Spider Man two, mm-hmm. which we didn't talk about, but we've done a whole spoiler cast about. So please go and listen to that. Go watch that on YouTube or on all your favorite podcast platforms um all these a lot of these games we talked about we've done spoiler cast about it's really fun to talk about a game like not a review of game but like what our experiences was and what all the story spoilers was what we thought mm. of all the final battles and all that sort of stuff so 
Uh, let us know if you like the spoiler cast because we really like doing them. Mm. And they're, I feel like they're good quality content. We love them so much we listen to ourselves. Yes, we do. Yes. kind of people. <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it's quality assurance checks <laughs> <That's what laughs> any 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 final thoughts for the people nick no i'm i'm right with you there thank you for uh for every, anyone who watched or listened all through 2023 and uh we'll like i don't see this type of content stopping i don't see our podcast stop i mean obviously it's still sporadic and not every week but like it's still fun content that we like making and hopefully you enjoy listening to or watching and uh we'll try and keep some more stuff coming if they release more nick versus jeff type games regularly then we would probably do more nick versus jeff but those games don't come up enough <laughs> and and we play games at different times now and yeah we need to be on like the same skill level and just like oh yeah. nick's too good at this and like ah oh, i'm not gonna catch up yeah but those single player experiences man eat those up mm, yum yum <laughs> all right happy 2023 nick i'll see you at christmas time Whoop whoop! i've still got your present just chilling here Let oh i wonder what yours is mm. i've actually got you two presents Okay. <laughs> anyway, love you, Nick. I'll uh, see you soon. <laughs> love you too, Jeffrey. Bye, everybody. Bye. Uh, Thanks for watching.